I docked you, fucking asshole! Die, bitch. I mean, it's fucking annoying, is all. Josh. Sheva, you don't have to do this. You can still back out. What about you? I've got a personal stake in this. A personal stake? Chris, look around. We should both get the hell out of here. I'm not here just for the mission. What are you talking about? A while back, I received some intel that my old partner was still alive. At first, I didn't know what to think. But when I saw the data file from Delta Team, I knew for sure. Jill is still alive. That woman in the data file? Are you even sure it's the same person? We were partners. I'm sure. What you just heard was the sound of incredible denial. Wait! Wait! You're not going alone. I don't have much time. I have to find her. I'm going with you. These are my people that are dying here. Are you sure about this? A second ago, you were ready to cut and run. I can't just turn my back and walk away. There are no more orders from here on in. It's just us. We are partners. To the end. Now let's get moving. Copy that. So when did Chris learn how to drive a redneck airboat, though, is what I want to know. Well, that's it. This, in my opinion, was pretty much... It's the shortest mission in the game. It's like six minutes. But it's by far, especially if you're playing it on veteran or, oh, dear God, professional. This is one of the worst areas in the game, I have to say. And you're fighting a final boss whom, you know, you pretty much killed on foot on no less than three occasions in Resident Evil 4. I mean, come on, Leon took one of those guys down with a combat knife, a handgun, a shotgun, maybe a hand grenade, a couple hand grenades, and a fucking dog. You're telling me that Chris Redfield, the super mutant, needs a fucking jeep with a chain gun to do it? Uh-uh. Especially at the point, you know, once you get further in the game where you could probably take on that fucking thing with, you know, just... Your... <sighs> this is... The... It's a nice change of pace, but the way it's done... You know, it would be great if it was, you know, more optional. The final boss. Everything up to the final boss. The chase and all makes sense. But not being able to dodge the final boss, not being able to move at all, not being able to evade the fucking Magini's um, torches and shit, it gets it gets fucking annoying. It's fucking annoying. That's all. That's all I got. That's all I've got to say. Um, 
this is a really short mission, though, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to jump into the next. And I will see you in about five seconds, I guess.